Can you guys see that? It is showing my pores. <laughs> Welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Natasha. And of course, you guys can kind of tell by the title what this video is about. So I am still reviewing the Fenty Beauty products that came out on January 11th, which was the concealer as well as the setting powder. But also, I just wanted to give you guys a nice beat. This is something I would normally wear if I was going out. As I mentioned with this Fenty Beauty launch, I'm so obsessed with Rihanna. I love her so much. You guys will notice that I did do a live, and I don't know if I'm gonna take that down yet, but I did do a live, you know, talking about the products, and I know I was so excited on the live, and I'm still super excited about the products, but there's one thing that I need to mention, of course, that you guys will see later on in the tutorial that I wanna talk about when using this product, kind of what happened to me. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, learn some new tips and tricks, Please keep watching. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I do not have any brows on. The first product I'm gonna grab is my Laxatine, and this is the Precious Mist. And you can get this spray at Sephora. And it does kind of sound like a paint can, and I really love that, listen. I think that's so cool. This keeps my face super moisturized. You guys know that I like to keep my face hydrated. So let's go ahead and spray this on. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> like so like refreshing. I just wanna like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a spa. The next product I'm gonna grab is my Laxatine. This is the light cream and I'm going to Put this all over my face as a moisturizer and I kind of just put my like dug my finger in there and this stuff smells like baby powder oh it smells so good is my glow girl this is the glow serum and I just want to show you guys how important moisturizing is when you are just trying to stay young and flawless. Put that on my forehead. And honestly, a little bit goes a long way with this moisturizer. And I do have a lot of redness right now. I was going in trying to get my blackheads. <laughs> it was not a game. Even at night, like I spend a lot of time. I think I try to set aside about 45 minutes to an hour just making sure that I take care of myself. So just going into the bathroom, shutting the door and doing, you know, like pampering my skin. The last product I'm gonna grab is my Wet n Wild. This is my face primer. You guys know I like to stay matte all day. Oh, there's already some coming, oh my goodness. And I place this in my T-zone. And unfortunately, a lot of product came out. I've been traveling, so. I usually don't bring the face primer down to my neck, but we don't waste no product over here. Yes, my face is hydrated. I'm just taking some CarMax making sure my lips are moisturized as well. I feel so insecure without my brows on, I'm like. So I'm just taking my handy dandy, this is the L'Oreal Pomade, and I've been using this for such a long time. I really love it. And then I also have the Anastasia Brow. This is the brush, and it's an angle brush. And like I said in my videos, I'm trying to get in the habit of showing you guys more brushes. So you can go out and purchase them or just understanding like what I use. And I always spray my brush with some setting spray. I kind of just like clean it off. Spraying my brush again. And do you guys want to be even more zoomed in right now while I do my brows? Oh, you do? And 
then I'm just taking my Maybelline Brow Gel. And this is a waterproof gel. I really like it. I did use this on my sister as well. I mean, we pretty much have the same skin, so I don't mind using this. <laughs> now I'm just taking my Glamouflage. This is from Hard Candy. And I'm gonna use this right under my brow. And the brush that I'm using is an e.l.f. concealer brush. And I am gonna spray my brush with some setting spray. Anytime you mess up on your brows, concealer can fix them. Oh, and I can't remember if it was, I think it was Tiffany who said, use castor oil on my brows to get them to grow. It was either Tiffany or one of the Britneys in the chat room. And just so you know, sis, I did get some castor oil and I added peppermint in it. Hello. And then I'm gonna take the Fenty. This is in the 345 shade. And I'm still trying to determine if this is my shade or not because this is, now I'm under studio light. So I will definitely be able to tell. Let's blend this in. Spraying my brush once again with setting spray. I am kind of just wiping it off and then spraying it one last time with setting spray. And I do have another brush. This is a e.l.f. contour brush that I'm gonna use as well to help blend out the concealer. And moving on to the top part of my brow. And I have to remind myself, this foundation dries so quick. The last thing I try to do when I'm checking my brows, and I always tell my clients to do this too, I'm like, give me angry brows. Like, I have to make sure that your brows are not angry and that they're not touching like your unibrow. Let's move on to our foundation. Like I said, I am using the Fenty foundation. This is in the shade 345. But like I said, I wanted to do this video in better lighting for you guys because I love doing lives. Don't get me wrong, we be having, like y'all be cutting up in lives. Um, I be struggling like trying to read you guys' comments because y'all be talking so much. I'm just going to dab this product on kind of just like one side of my face. I was like, oh my goodness, did I prime? I feel like priming my face happened ages ago. All right, we're gonna stop there. <laughs> like I said, this stuff dries fast. Grabbing some setting spray, and I'm just using my Beauty Blender. Oh yeah, this is my shade. Oh yes, so all the ladies, we were on point with this one. Ooh, and your girl ain't looking orange. This is all my little heart needed. Oh my goodness. Look how flawless this side of my face is compared to this, like, sis, we got this. Like, go ahead, Rihanna. And I am experiencing some breakouts because I'm a woman and I have a menstrual cycle, so. <laughs> and then we are going to do our forehead. Well, my five head.
Let's go ahead and move on to the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I did get the shade 350. And one thing about this concealer, it's super creamy. It's not as mattifying as the foundation. And I'm pretty sure they did that for a reason. A lot of people were complaining with dry skin that the foundation was too drying for them. Like I said, since I do have oily to combination skin, this foundation works out perfect for me. I know they said a little product goes a long way, but I like to be beat. Oh, what am I doing? I like wrap this up. Like, no, we're still using you. And I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Chestnut. And I'm just gonna grab my stippling brush, some setting spray. I'm just using the same brush I used to clean up my highlight underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna bring this down the bridge of my nose. And I do kind of bring it up right here, kind of like meeting my brow. You guys see that? So bring it down and it kind of like touches my brow, it kind of just helps frame the face. I feel like it kind of just brings your eyes together. So my California trip was freaking awesome. Although it rained literally the whole entire time. Like it was really depressing. <laughs> I've never seen California rain that much. And my dad lives in Long Beach, California. So that's where we were staying. But I did go to IMAX. And that's the reason why I was in LA. And let me tell you guys, I have like all the stuff to vlog, but my husband's really into cameras and he is just learning so much. Like he has hit the ground running, just learning about equipment, about cameras, about all the lighting that I use. But we didn't realize that. It's kind of like trial and error that you learn. And we are such like perfectionists. Well, he's more of a perfectionist than me. Cause I'm like, just throw it up there. <laughs> but he was not having it. He's like, oh my goodness, like it's too dark. And now that I look at the footage, it was dark. And the only thing about this concealer that I can say uh, kind of just irks me just a little bit. When I wear concealer, it usually hides my pores and this one kind of like exposes my pores. And it's like, I really have to do a good job of blending. And I mean, I can use a brush as well to blend out my concealer, but I feel like that like just isn't working. Like it wants my pores to be shown. That is one con for me. Like it literally goes to like find my pores and expose them. Expose is just such a funny word. Like expose, expose, expose. So we did meet with Drea here on the YouTube live show when I do that. Um, she was awesome, oh my goodness. Like she's such a freaking sweetheart. I mean, literally you feel comfortable. I love those people that you can just feel comfortable with like right when you meet them. She gave us a tour of Fox Sports Studio, like her and her friend. It was so freaking awesome. Like my husband, I was like, hey, you should bring the camera. And he was like, no, it's gonna be too dark, blah, 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 like we don't have the right lighting. We took a tour of Fox Sports. Like I'm super into football. My favorite team is the Carolina Panthers. And I like I saw Mike Pereira's desk. Like I know who these people are and we didn't vlog it. So my husband did take some footage on his phone, but he was literally like I felt so bad cuz he was like beating himself up like I literally should have brought the camera no matter what. Like, I don't care how dark it was, we should have just brought it. It was like an experience. But then one thing that I try to remember is, I always try to remind myself to live in the moment. We're so quick to pull out our phones and like we go to concerts and we're just like filming with our phones and we're watching it through the phone, although the person is standing right in front of us. On one hand, I'm kind of like beating myself up that 
you know, I don't have much footage. But then on the other hand, I'm just like, I lived that. Like I actually saw that with my own eyes. I wasn't like hype about pulling out my phone and like videotaping everything. I can really say, like I enjoyed the experience. And also too, Drea was like, I don't wanna be on camera. I don't wanna be on camera. I'm like, girl. No, she was a freaking sweetheart. My little ponytail is trying to fall like, just, just work for me. You already didn't want to work for me anyway. I have like a freaking sideways ponytail. Like I'm like a little kid. I don't know what's going on. This is the Mega Liner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. This is definitely a staple. Now, one thing about me is I used to wear eyeliner all the freaking time. So I never had an issue with putting on my eyeliner. Like I could literally just go bam, bam. But lately I have not been wearing eyeliner the way I used to. So that's why it takes me a little bit longer. And I'd be like, you know, cracking jokes with you guys in the comments. Like my struggle be so real. And this is a felt tip. This is great for beginners. I do like brushes, but that's when I'm consistently wearing eyeliner. That means I'm just like, See those ninja tricks? Taking my liner and I start in the center of my eye. And now I'm going to do my wing. And then I'm gonna bring my wing back to connect to the original line. Then you fill in the wing. And then I do add eyeliner to my inner corner. I'm just gonna grab my mascara. This is from Physicians Formula. And let's go ahead and do our lashes. We are applying falsies today. These are in Chic Icon. And I'm just taking some Kiss. This is the glue I like to use. And I will link all the products of everything that I used in this video in the description bar, of course. Let's go ahead and land this lash. It's super simple, it's not too much, and these lashes just have you looking like a snack. I am gonna grab Opio Glow, we're gonna use this as a brow bone highlight, and I always spray my brush with some setting spray. This is gonna make my eyes look more awake. I do try to add just a little bit of flair to my eyes. Now you guys already know I love my mascara, so we are gonna bring some mascara to my lower lash line. This is the side with mascara, this is the side without mascara. Let's talk about it. So the setting powder that I did get is in the shade Honey. Like I said about this concealer, it does happen to find my pores. Like it literally goes and investigates and pulls my pores. And this powder does that as well. But one thing I do wanna mention is, thank you Riri for adding so much product in your powder. Like my powder is literally filled to the top. Like I definitely feel like I got my money's worth. And sometimes I don't feel like that with all products. This is me baking as normal. And this powder smells really good. But as you guys can see, I literally just applied the powder and it went straight for my pores. Can you guys see that? It is showing my pores. So the powder that actually does this to me as well is my e.l.f. powder. This is why you guys never see me use this 
setting powder right here, I will never use it because it does this to my skin. Maybe this doesn't happen to everybody, but this ha like this is happening to me every time I wear this powder. And like I said, I literally have just put it on. I haven't even been baking that long. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. And I'm just taking my Profusion. Like I said, don't sleep on this palette. I'm grabbing my Real Techniques brush, and this is a contour brush. And I'm gonna grab Warm Scope. Doing the same with the other side. This is from e.l.f. and this is called Mellow Mob. So beautiful. I usually do this all the time so I don't become a grease ball. So let me show you guys how I've been dealing with this and just giving myself a flawless finish. So I'm just gonna take this brush. This is a small taper brush. Since I can see my pores right here, I'm gonna go up. Instead of bringing the powder down, I'm gonna bring the powder up, so watch. By me bringing the powder up, my nose, you can't see my pores anymore. And then I'm gonna have to move up. And then once again, on this eye, I just have to move up. So I'm brushing the powder up like this. Normally I can kind of just wipe away my setting powder. Voila, my makeup does not look crazy. I was able to work with it. It does not look bad at all. It's just, I don't know why it does that on me. <laughs> Chin, I can just wipe it away nothing too crazy and then I'm just grabbing a, another Real Techniques brush sugar and spice from Gerard Cosmetics and I did use this all over my lips so it is a lip liner sometimes lip liners can be great lipsticks I'm gonna take Lolita, this is from Kat Von D. This was hot on the streets like a couple years ago. It was so hard to find this lipstick, but I love wearing this kind of like with my everyday beat. Last, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Milkshake, and I place this lipstick in the center of my lips. And I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that in, or do I need to? Oh, you want me to? Okay, forget it, I will. My camera did cut off, so all I used was Opio Glow. I used that on my cupid's bow, my nose, as well as the center of my eyes. I don't know how I prefer getting this all the time. And this is seriously like one of the most important steps. We need to spray our face with some setting spray. Like you cannot not spray your face. Like I still need to be flawless. I got pores peeking, okay? I wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my tutorials. You guys know I appreciate the support. You guys can be on so many different channels and you guys come to me and I definitely appreciate it. I just wanted to do an updated video for you guys as far as the Fenty Beauty because of the setting powder, doing that craziness to my skin. I'm not breaking out. I actually don't have sensitive skin like that so I wouldn't, it'd be rare that I break out from a product. Like I. I would be shocked myself. That does not just blend in right away. So I wanted to show you guys a technique that I use anytime you've experienced like your pores being exposed under investigation. I got attacked by the makeup police. Like, yeah, I don't want nobody to ever have to go through that. And I don't want you to have to redo your makeup. I'm not gonna return any of my items because I do love Fenty. And also, like I said, they give you so much powder. Like this is a lot of product but I just wanted to show you guys kind of my experience and what I was going through because I want to give you guys my honest review. Thank you so much for staying to the end. As always, you guys know I miss you and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.